So back and so Alexis was telling me about how parents are not credited and how you know some of them some students may be receiving bad education due to that. Well, like I had said, the statistics show that you know uh, homeschool students, whether they have a parent with uh, credit, I mean with credentials or not, they still score about 30, 30, per, 30 per, uh, percentile points higher than the public education system. So does this mean that most of the teachers in the public systems are not, are not credited or not good enough to be teaching our children to begin with? Um, Alexis was also saying that private schools have more flexible hours and that should be something else that we should look at. Well, a lot of people cannot afford um, private schools. Private schools are actually pretty expensive. And you know that's why a lot of people choose to just send, well, have to. They don't have the choice, but they have to send their children to the public school system. But I mean, obviously now, if we could see that it's actually less expensive to, to homeschool your children. Um, also, uh, we wonder where the all this time go, I mean, is that our children learning, do they, out of the seven and a half hours that they go to school, are they really spent, do they really spend that whole seven hours learning something? Studies show that in standard U.S. school day at the average American public school, approximately only one hour and 15 minutes goes to actual learning. That is about 75 minutes a day of, uh, of actual learning of education. Meaning a lot of most of the day is wasted with a bunch of busy work, handouts, distractions, attendance, uh, the Pledge of Allegiance, or whatnot. Um, meaning, I mean, you could be spending that time. Actually, a child can be spending time being a child. Also, another effect of things is, uh, well, the big rise of bullying. I mean, statistics show, according to statistics. Statistics reported ABC News, nearly 30% of students, students are bullied, bullies or victims of bullying. Also, each day approximately 160,000 students miss school for fear of being bullied on school grounds. I Meaning a lot of children are, you know, missing out on going to school <coughs> just because they're scared that someone there will will bully them. Um, a study conducted by the University of Virginia found that the prevalence of teasing and bullying in schools directly increases high school dropout rates. The, stu the study followed 7,082 students over their four years of high school from 2007 to 2011. <clears throat> also, bullying can lead to depression amongst the youth population, causing uh, mental disorders that can then lead to a connection with the rise of youth suicide, <coughs> as well as shootings in a, on, school on school grounds. Uh, a research conducted by Secret Service and U.S. Department of Education on 37 school shootings, including Columbine, found that of almost three-fourths of student shooters felt bullied, threatened, attacked, or injured by others. In fact, several shooters reported experiencing long-term and severe bullying and harassment from their, their peers. So. And then, you know, some of the beneficials to, to being homeschooled. Uh, homeschoolers <clears throat> are beneficial to our society. The National Home Education Research Institute said that homeschoolers saved taxpayers $16 billion in 2000, 2006. Plus, you know, like Will said, uh, you know, they were even, all, I mean, homeschoolers were even offered a tax credit on this, so. And, you know, like, it, like we said, it's not expensive. Parent spending. Uh, spending and income level and household income and spending differences on education didn't affect child resorts while parents that spent less than 600 child scored in the 86th percentile versus 600 dollars uh, or more that scored in the 89th percentile. Okay.